So Google Voice was uh, open to the public today. I didn't have an invitation, so this is, this benefits me. Um, a lot of people say they already had an invitation to Google Voice. So whoop -de -doo. But I didn't have one, so I'm excited. So now I have Google Voice on my phone. Uh, it's pretty cool. You should check it out. You get to have your own number. Like, my number now is 773-669. Uh, Rick. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. It's pretty damn awesome. And the coolest thing about Google Voice is Google Voicemail. Google Voicemail. It will uh, transcribe your voicemails and it will be sent to your inbox. And um, it pretty much looks like Gmail, the Google Voice outlet uh, layout, uh, which is the coolest thing that I like that I'm doing it for really is to read transcripts of my of voicemails. Because I'm not deemed worthy enough of visual voicemail. Even if you have visual voicemail, it won't transcribe it. You know, it won't put it in text for you. And you can play it from your computer. So you can listen to voicemails from your computer. It's awesome. Uh, and it's... You can you can send text messages from there. You can make very cheap international calls, which I won't do, but you can do it. Why not? Um, and the, the one of the coolest thing about Google Voice, which I can't take advantage of, but I'm sure this is some people out there will love it, is that you can have your cell phone number, your work number, and your home number all have the same phone number. So if Ruben over there calls my work number, my cell phone number will ring. It's complicated, but you can set it up, and it's it's very easy to set up because I, I was checking it out. But I don't have, I only have this one phone. So, but if you have more than one phone, definitely get Google Voice. And uh, it's Google. Come on. Oh, privacy, you, privacy. I don't care. You know? I don't care. It's Google. I'll leave my kids with Google. Also, uh, you can personalize greetings for different callers. You can set up different voicemail greetings for different people. Uh, what else can you do? What else can you do? You can share voicemail with friends. I still haven't looked at that yet. But, hey, if you want to share a voicemail with a friend, you can do that. I trust Google. Skynet. Google Skynet. They're taking over her phone. Google Voice is the next step in communication. Hmm? Hmm? You can now screen calls. Do you remember the old days when you had a voicemail box, like a voicemail messaging system, separate from the phone? And if someone leaves you a voicemail, you can hear the voice. You, you can hear it happening, and then it's like, oh wait, I kind of want to talk to him now. You pick up the phone and you can talk to him. Well, you can do that now with your cell phone. Yeah, uh, if you can screen, you can screen the call and then say, uh, you can listen to the guy l leaving the voicemail. It's old technology, but it's amazing that it's on the new technology now. Um, another feature is that uh, you can block unwanted callers. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could do that now, right? I don't know, but yeah, you can pretty much spam them just like an email. It's true. It's like your. It's like Google Voice is pretty much emails through the phone. If that makes sense, just check it out. It's pretty cool. I have it now. Um, so I'm, I, it's very inconvenient because I have two phone numbers now, but <laughs> but it'll be convenient sooner or later. I'm just waiting for somebody to ask me for what, for what my number is so I can tell them. My phone number is 669-RICK. It's pretty cool. So, Skynet Voice or Google Voice. Check it out. 